Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be doing the Clone Hero set list tier list on Tier Maker. And I'll put this in the description too if you want to do it yourself. This is going to be a bit interesting because obviously I've not played every set list. But yeah, let's just get into it. So starting off, we have 311 Hero, which I just have not played. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of these are going to go in not played, to be honest. A to Z pack, um, I've also not played. I think this is the Adagio discography, which I haven't played. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to have to skip uh, a good amount of these. All right, Antihero Beach episode. In terms of song picks, uh, I'm quite a fan. In terms of charting, not really. I kind of hate how a lot of this set list was charted. It's just very old charting standards. Like, you have a chart of Night of Nights, which I love. It's all taps. And it, it like, why? Why is it all taps? I, I legit play the chart on all strums because it's more fun that way. Uh, I'll put it in B tier. I think uh, Antihero Beach episode is pretty good. I know a lot of people really don't like Antihero 1. I'm not a fan of a lot of this set list, but I do have a lot of nostalgia for this set list. It was the first set list that I really got into slightly above Beach Episode. I know that's really controversial, but I like Antihero 2. In terms of song picks, I'd probably put it even above Antihero Beach Episode. In terms of charting, it's not bad. I'd put it in A tier probably. I think I'm going to put it in A tier. There's some charts I really like. There's some charts I really dislike. You have some interesting mod charts. Uh, a lot of the higher tier charts are really fun. Band Hero, I have not played at all. I owned this game uh, as a kid and it didn't work. Bit Crusher, I played through all of Bit Crusher. It's one of the few set lists I've played entirely through. Antihero Beach episode is another one. What do I think about Bit Crusher? I like Chiptune, I do. Playing through an entire set list of it, I kind of got bored of it after a while. I think it's something that I would enjoy more in moderation. In terms of charting, I do like Bit Crusher. It's probably above Antihero. Probably an A tier. I'd put it in A tier. It's a great like intro set list if you want to like do a set list grind on Score Spy. I have not played the DLC yet though. That's on my list to do. Brand new hero I have not played either. Uh, Children of Bodom Hero. I've only played a little bit of this. Uh, it is pretty recent. But I love Children of Bodom. It's got full albums. It's got solo melodies. Everything I like in the discography set list. It's a bit tough to place just because I really haven't played much of it at all. But um, I'm thinking high A, maybe even S. I might place this in S. Uh, you know, I'll place this. This will be my first S. Blanket Statement. It's been forever since I played Blanket Statement. I think I remember liking it well enough. Like kind of a middle of the road set list, I guess. Um, I, I like the concept. It's a really cool concept. Oh, I think I'd put it in B. Uh, I do like Circuit Breaker quite a bit. The difficulty balancing is a little bit weird. Like most of the set list is honestly pretty easy. Like there's a few charts of the highest difficulty that I think I could have C. And then you have charts on the other hand that are just straight up impossible. Like end by instant reality. So that's uh, difficulty balancing is a little off. It's very much not the style of charting that I generally play I, I love the song picks though i'm a huge edm fan i'd probably put circuit breaker ib uh c3 i have not played much of at all. the clone hero default songs very small selection difficulty scaling is all over the place like i appreciate that there's like harder chart in there said harder chart is like coalescence and segmentation so <laughs> i don't know not a fan of this one charts love charts um i haven't played through this entire set list it's huge but it has tons of full album charts stuff for all difficulties and it's just a great set list if you want to like get into set list grinding so i would put charts in a tier probably 
Charts 2, I have not played at all. I played Charts 1 back in my keyboard days. And I haven't really gotten around to Charts 2. Uh, Shell Hero, I have not played. Club Mix 1, I remember playing this a little bit after Asai played it on his stream, and I did like it. Song picks are pretty good. I do like a lot of the song picks in Club Mix 1. Uh, I forget if this is the one with Miracle Musical. Let me let me check real quick. Yeah, I guess I played through uh, Club Mix 2, because this is the one that had um, Hawaii Part 2. So yeah, I guess I played through both of them. Uh, I don't remember playing through Club Mix 2, but I guess I did. Probably High B. I haven't played a whole lot of Code Red. From what I've played, it's pretty good. Uh, I'd probably put it right there. Cow Hero. Oh boy. Okay. I'd put Cow Hero in a C, probably. Uh, it's it's very dated. Has some very janky charting in some parts. Uh, but pretty decent song selection. It it is a bit janky, but I uh. I can appreciate that sometimes. I do have anti-hero in tier B, so. Uh, Creative Commons Hero. Don't think I've played through this at all. I think I maybe took a look at it, but I don't remember it. Uh, the CSC Monthly Packs. Oh boy, okay. It's hard to rank all the monthly packs at once, but I really do like the monthly packs as a concept. They're not all like my favorite thing ever, but I think that's kind of the point. Uh, they have different themes every month, so you kind of just pick the ones that appeal to you, and that's that. So, I'd put it in a solid A tier. Carpal Tunnel Hero 1, the original. I do like the original, but I have to admit, it is very dated. Kind of the only reason I would ever put it high at all is due to, like, one or two, like, old iconic charts. Um, you have Gambit, obviously, maybe high C, low B, probably high C. C is not bad by any means, by the way. I'm CTH1 remastered, probably a bit better overall than, um, CTH1. I'd probably put it high B. But the bonus tracks were a very nice addition. Carpo Tunnel Hero 2, here we go, all right. So Carpo Tunnel Hero 2, I'd probably put an S tier. I mean, it's just iconic, really. Some some really cool solo medleys, uh, iconic tapping charts. I, I feel like that's a very nostalgia-fueled opinion. Like, a lot of those charts really do not hold up. But you have a lot of iconic charts there that are just really good. You might move it down to, like, high A, maybe. CTH3, okay. I haven't played through nearly all of it. In terms of song picks, it's fantastic. Like, I have to say that, uh, for a 700 song set list, there's a lot of, like, really, really good picks here. Definitely the best in the series, in my opinion. A lot of the higher end, uh, chart, tier charts aren't fun. A few of them are pretty fun. I mean, there's just something for everyone. Like, that's the thing. How do you rank something that just encompasses, like, everything? I'd probably put it in S tier. Like, it's so tough to um, make a set list of that size, of that quality. Like, it's just amazing. So many good picks that, like, the few, like, boring tapping picks I have, like, I, everyone memes about it because, like, I kind of I kind of went in on those charts um, in my unconventional charting video. But I really do like uh, CTH3. Uh, the DLC, though, I have not played yet. Um, Still working my way through the main set list. Uh, it'll be quite a while before I get to the to the DLC, I imagine. Okay, we're at the CTPs now. CTP1, okay. When the standout chart is what no effort sounds like, <laughs> I'd probably put CTP1 in D tier, to be honest. It's just not that good. CTP2, all right. Uh, this one had a lot more charts. Uh, in terms of quality, though, it's kind of kind of the same, really. Uh, you had Inverted 2, No Spirits, No Bodies, Obsidian, Xenon, what more effort sounds like. So I, I'd say CTP2 is a bit of a step up from uh, CTP1. I'm just going to go in order here, so I'm skipping over CTP10, 11, 12. I'd probably put low c cdb3 all right binary simulation uh inhumane effort 
Uh, it, it's definitely a much smaller pack. It, not much to say here. I, I put it on par with CTP2, really. Community track pack four. What did we have here? We had a Demons 2, Super Inhu Boy. There's not a whole lot to say about CTP4. Then we get to CTP 4.5. 4.5 had a lot of really good songs. Wix Heck? How do you pronounce... Whatever. Sydney's Fanatical Uber Solo. Uh, Panger. Panger was in 4.5. Moog and Moog 2. Cataclysm was in here. 5000 Diablo Robots. Um, so 4.5 I would put... I'd put it, yeah, I'd put it icy, maybe uh, below CTH1. CTH1 feels a bit low in C. I might move that up to B now that the uh, lower tiers are filling out a bit. CTP5 goes back to being like unnotable. What's in here? Forgotten Temple, I guess. Gambit Remake. Yeah, not much to say here. I'd put it below 2, 3, and 4. Uh, then we get to the modern CTPs. <laughs> Um, which have been revamped slightly. A lot of people's songs ended up getting removed due to some drama. CTP 1 through 5, I had no say in. We ended up removing a lot of bad songs, which is going to inflate the ratings of the modern CTPs significantly. You have no idea. CTP 6 is uh, pretty good. Not my favorite pack, but it, it's pretty good. You had a triathlon, this went too far, uh, Zoidberg's Revenge, UH, Raiding the Icy Town, based preset. Like, uh, you had some really good charts in CTP6. So I would put CTP6 as the first CTP in B tier. IB, somewhere around here. Uh, CTP7, my favorite CTP. Unironically, CTP7, S tier. You had Megalodon, Parabolic, Supernovae, Geometry, uh, Night Stroll, um, Common Collective. Like, it's such a banger pack. We had to remove far less songs than we had to for the other packs. So, uh, CTP8, on the other hand, there's really nothing super notable here. Notable picks from CTP8 are like, Alex Jones VGH and Crossnall. This goes in C tier, low C. Uh, CTP9, you had uh, No Escape 2, Ossislop, Keystone, Fall of Resistance, I think was in CTP9. Crystalline was in CTP9. I would put CTP9 probably on par with CTP6. CTP10, oh boy. Uh, this went from being one of the worst CTPs to being one of the better ones after we removed a ton of songs. Um, you have the Olympian, Egoless. Y you still have a lot of really bad charts here, I won't lie. But then, like, you have so many good charts too, like O to Thria, DNA 4. It's just kind of a mixed bag. There's a there's a solid amount of good charts and there's a solid amount of charts that I just would not recommend. I'd put it, I think high C is a fair rating for it. CTP 11, you had exoplanets. It looks like we uh, forgot to remove a few songs from this pack. Teehee, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, CTP 11 was like, all right. Like it was fine, I guess. CTP12, this is kind of where I stopped, like, paying attention to CTP. I kind of got, like, burnt out on it after a while. Like, I, I recognize a few of these songs, but there's so many songs I just don't even remember. So I think I'm going to put uh, 12, 13, and 14 here. This is really funny. I put the Dragon Force discography on this uh, tier maker because I thought this was just uh, G GHX's discography. But apparently this is a different discography that's not even out yet. So that goes in not played. I don't know what's the difference between this, this, and this. Um, I saw that there were different icons and I kind of just added all of them. Um, regardless, I have not played any of these. Android 
digitizer. Some solid picks. I like EDM. I'd probably put it around here. Dissonance Hero. I have not played through. The DJ Hero Guitar Charts. I have not played these. Allegedly, they are terrible. I think this is Ennis Ferrum discography. I hope I'm not wrong. That would be embarrassing. But I have not played it. I have it downloaded. It's on my list. Endless Hero, I have not played. Facelift Packs, I have not played. Not really. I've played uh, a few charts, but I wouldn't say I'm qualified to give a rate. Focal Point 1. I enjoyed Focal Point. I enjoyed it well enough anyways. I'd probably put it in slightly above Circuit Breaker even. Uh, Focal Point 2 I really enjoyed actually. Chart quality slightly better. Uh, I liked the song picks a lot more in Focal Point 2. Uh, you have some really good ones. Uh, there were two tiers in particular that just had a really good song picks. I think I'd put it in A tier, honestly. Fuse Box. Uh, this is one that I have not played much of at all. Um, I've played a little, tiny little bit. From what I've played, it's really good. I would probably put it in A tier, but I don't really feel qualified on giving it a rating. Game Changer, okay. Uh, this is one that I've played through slightly, but again, I don't really... I don't remember it well enough to really give it a rating, I don't think. I believe this is Green Day Rock Band, which I have not played. I haven't played any of the Rock Band games, so you can expect a lot of uh, not plays there. I kind of just put every set list ever onto this tier maker because I was like, eh, maybe someone would like to rank them. You don't have to rank them if you don't want to because this is going to be a little bit difficult probably. Um, Guitar Hero 1. Some decent song picks, small set list, bad charting. I'd put it, like, bottom of C tier, probably. Guitar Hero 2. Slightly better song picks. Slightly better charting. Above the old CTPs, probably. Guitar Hero 2 DLC. I have not played any of the DLC, so... Guitar Hero 3. Decent song picks. Pretty good charting for the most part. Maybe above Cow Hero. I don't know. Guitar Hero 5. This is actually the one Guitar Hero game that I never owned as a kid, so... Uh, 80s. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of the music. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. Uh, charting, pretty bad. There's some decent song picks. I'd put it below GH2, though. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. I have not played through much of this at all. Guitar Hero Live. I took one look at that game, I played like the tiniest bit, I have no memory. I've blocked it out of my memory. Guitar Hero Metallica. But from what I've played, it's pretty good. In terms of charting, it is probably around GH3 uh, quality, I'd say. I have not played any of the on tour games. Oh, Smash Hits I didn't have either. So that's another one um, I didn't. Van Halen. F tier. Great. I can't uh full series FC now. Thanks a lot. Um Warriors of Rock. I love Warriors of Rock. Fantastic song selection. Probably my favorite game in the series. Pretty good charting. Not the best around, I don't think, but like I'd put it solid B tier probably. World Tour. Good song picks. Worse charting than GH3. Probably on par with uh, GH2. Slightly above GH2, I'd say. And above Clone Hero. I love everything about the GHX set lists. I'd put it in S tier. CTH2 being in A tier feels wrong. I'm going to move that up to S as well. I, I think I'm going to move Children of Bodom discography down. I love the way they're organized, how it's not like... Not really organized by difficulty, but more just like, oh, here's a bunch of songs that fit this theme. Uh, pretty good charting. I, I do like GHX's charting. It's definitely slightly more on the unconventional side, which I like. Glitter Hero. Man, this is going to be a tough one to rank, huh? I love 
glitter hero as a concept. A lot of the songs, I'm just not a huge fan of. But still, I don't think there's any way I could rank this lower than like A tier. So it goes top of A tier for me. I love the concept. Um, I've made my own like glitter inspired charts of songs that I like more. Uh, Guitar Zero 2, have not played. Guitar Zero DLC, have not played. Um, Guitar Zero 1 didn't have an icon for some reason in the game files. So Harmony Hero, I've played a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of this. I'm not going to rank it. Instrumental, I have not played this yet. Intense Smoke Hero. Everyone talks about these set lists, and yet I have not ever played them. J Rock Band. This is an interesting one. Fair quality, kind of garbage. I can't lie. Uh, song picks, they're all right. I just don't like the charting, though, because it's rock band style charting, which means different instruments are charted on different instruments, which means the lead guitar part ends up being really boring most of the time. And it's just, it's so hard to justify putting this above D tier. For Riaboo Hero, one and two. Don't dislike the song picks. I'm not against K pop. I'd probably put these um, top of C tier. I don't know if I even played through Karibu Hero 2. I didn't really play through a bit of one. Um, Lisa, I have not played through any of these. Uh, Lego Rock Band, have not played. Max Altitude, one of my favorite set lists of all time. Or I thought I wasn't the biggest fan of alt rock. It kind of got me into it. Um, the charting, for the most part, really, really, really good in my opinion. Like, I love the charting in this set list. It's so fun to play. Put it in S tier. That's how much I like that set list. I'm really, really sad that uh, we're not getting a sequel to that, but Marathon Hero. I like the full album charts, but man, it's really hard to justify putting this like, uh, it's got to go in like C tier. There, there's a lot in the set list that I just like, do not enjoy playing whatsoever. Marathon Hero 2, on the other hand, uh, love Marathon Hero 2. It has introduced me to some of my favorite artists of all time. Cellar Darling was in Marathon Hero 2. Like, just uh, fantastic, fantastic song picks. Uh, charting, way better than Marathon Hero 1. Still not my favorite charting ever. It's, it's great. I love Marathon Hero 2. This is, this is getting to the point where, like, maybe this goes in A tier. Miscellaneous Pack, I have not played. Uh, New Beat, Open Note Hero, I have not played. Plastaris Synonymous, I've played through a fair bit of this. I, B, probably. Chart quality is kind of all over the place. Paradigm, easy S tier. Um, Paradigm is probably my favorite set list of all time still. Fantastic, like, broad range of difficulty. Um, quality over quantity. Uh, it's only 101 charts, but there's so little filler in Paradigm. I could name almost every chart in the set list from memory. It is, it is getting to the point where, like, it's kind of dated. There was an update that kind of broke some things, actually, with 2023 charting standards. This set list came out in 2019. With the charting standards nowadays, just imagine how good a set list could be. Project Restore Guitar Hero 2. I haven't played enough of it. I know everyone says this is, like, easy F tier. I don't want to just immediately discount it. Uh, I think this is Parallax Hero, which is on my list to play. I believe these are the Puppets Hero set lists, which I have not played at all. Uh, phase Shift, Phase Shift Guitar uh, Projects, have not played any of those. Plastic Shred Hero, low B, low B. There's some fun charts. Uh, it's definitely a much more gameplay focused set list anything c tier or above is good and even d tier is like tolerable van halen honestly is probably like d tier uh project strandberger really underrated set list why is this not ranked on score spy please rank it on score spy i'm begging you um probably a tier um song picks fantastic 
it's like all instrumental in terms of charting there's nothing special here in terms of difficulty it's kind of boring uh the, like this set list wins on song picks alone i swear puzzle hero this is a controversial one. Oh boy i i honestly am not even gonna rank this i'll, I'll tell you what i would rank it i would rank it probably i b I'm honestly not a fan of all the charts. There's some charts that just aren't really that fun to play. I love the concept, but since the set list is getting reworked, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rank it just yet. Redemption are it's been a while since I played this one, so I don't know if I should rank it, but Okay, I ranked I, I ranked blanket statement a B. I think I'm also gonna rank this a B. It's slightly above Blanket Statement, in my opinion. Rock Band, I have not played any of these. Revolved, I have not played these yet. I really want to, because the concept is pretty interesting. It's a lot of, like, uh, math core type stuff. Symphonic Effect. Uh, this is a pretty underrated set list, in my opinion. Probably low A tier. It's pretty good. Uh, charting is definitely not quite on the level of like max altitude. The song picks are honestly pretty good, but there's some interesting picks for sure. S Hero, I love S Hero. It's a bit of a meme of a set list, um, but like some really, really good song picks. Um, charting standards, pretty good. Uh, I'm unsure if I wanna place this top of A or bottom of S. I might go with bottom of S, to be honest. I honestly think the uh, charting is probably better than Marathon Hero 2 even. There's some great unconventional charts. Sussy Baka is in this set list. Shadow of Intent Discography. This is Miscellany's project, I think, which I have not played yet. Uh, Symphony X Discog. I have not played this yet either. It is on my list. Uh, Synergy. I made this set list. Oh boy. I would put it bottom of B. Uh, I was conflicted if I wanted to put it top of C or bottom of B. I'm going to put it bottom of B. Uh, the organization was a bit rough. I don't really like organizing set lists. My charts in the set list are not that great, to be honest. Uh, except for True. That chart is a banger. Uh, a mishmash of like different concepts and set lists that all got thrown together that ended up feeling bad i guess in my opinion i know a lot of people like this set list they were saying like oh it's the second coming of paradigm i would not rank it that highly it's all right there's a few good charts but the chart quality is kind of all over the place really there's so many like customs it feels like a mix between like plastic shred hero and community track pack but yeah, I think I think B tier is a solid placement. Technical difficulties. I've not played. Fall of Troy Hero. I also have not played. Uh U UFO. Pretty good charting. I know this is just an album and not really a full set list, but I'd put it in S tier. Let me let me reorganize this a little bit. I would put S Hero above Marathon Hero 2. CTH2 goes down here. CTP7's also ranked too highly i do really like ctp7 but there we go vortex hero i've played a bit of this uh not all the way through but enough to rank it i would put it in b tier probably yeah around blanket statement or redemption arc or anti-hero beach episode verified unverified um oh i've played a little bit of this i don't remember well enough to rank it. WCC, I have not played at all. Weed Hero and Weed Hero 2, I have not played at all. Zan Charted, I've played a little bit of this. The question is, have I played enough to rank it? No, I don't think so. And I don't I don't think I've played enough of these to rank them either. Uh for all three of these set lists though, I have skimmed through them and in terms of song picks, really good. So off to a great start there. Um, I just haven't played the charts, so I can't really judge them. But yeah, uh, this is pretty much the final tier list. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. I know this is a really long video, but yeah.
Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.